Oh my god, Spider-Man's about to be double teamed by Venom and Carnage. <laughs> Giggity. Hello, toy collectors of the world! I have Carnage from the Marvel Select series. With some really badass package art on the side. Major shout out to Master Woods for getting me this figure. And yes, I said Master Woods. That's what he goes by and that's what I'm going to say online. Anyways, thank you for getting me this guy. I'm a huge fan of the symbiotes in the Marvel Universe. I love Venom, but Carnage is probably my number two out of my favorite out of all of them that have been introduced. I won't go through the bio in the back, but Carnage is Cletus Cassidy. He was the cellmate to Eddie Brock. The only difference is between him and Eddie Brock was that he is a serial killer and a total psycho. Eddie was crazy, but he had a moral code. Cletus, he had no moral code whatsoever, and he killed everyone indiscriminately. Adding in a symbiote that gave him the abilities of Spider-Man and Venom, which made him either equal to or in some cases even stronger than them, he was capable of doing a lot of stuff, and he was crazier because it talked to him in his head. So it just made things so much worse. Anyways, I'm excited about opening this guy up, so let's get to it. And here he is. Oh my god, he's really cool looking. Comes with a lot of accessories, including two interchangeable heads. The first head is the Cletus head. Look how evil they made this guy. He looks so incredibly demented. Not to mention the detail they put into the tendrils going over his hair and his face. I'm really impressed with this. The next head is a much more current look of what Carnage looks like in the comics. I'm not as big of a fan of this one, but still, they did put in a lot of detail into this too. If you see here, they actually have the teeth and they're quite sharp. But this head is a much more classic look for Carnage is also my favorite one out of the three. This is probably going to be the one that I'm going to have him displayed with. He came packaged with his very classic looking hands. Look at these claws here. These are pretty cool looking. There's one here that's kind of bent off to the side. I don't know what, what happened here. Maybe it was just from the packaging. But regardless though, it does look really awesome. These, however, can be interchanged because we have some other appendages that can block in this way because Carnage is known for making his symbiote into going into all these different sharp forms so that he can kill and massacre other people. Here's the other hand that he comes with. This in itself is just a blunt object. In fact, I may end up displaying with this one more so than with this scythe thing because I do like how this looks and this is something that he would totally be doing on a usual basis. Carnage comes with a bunch of different tentacle pieces that you can add on to his body, which I'm happy that they did this. Originally when Carnage was introduced, he was like a much more tentacle kind of symbiote that could use all of these appendages. Whereas Venom himself was much more smooth and he only used his symbiote to kind of extend further out here and there from time to time, but it couldn't do it to the extent that Carnage's could. And the body on Carnage has these different slots that you can put them all in. Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough to carry all of these different appendages, but still, it is cool that they offer this as something you can put on to display him. He has five small pieces like this that just kind of curve and go in different directions. And he comes with these four other tentacles that are just straight up tentacles. They are bendable, but they just go right back into the position that they were in. You can mix and match all of the different tentacles to go into different slots. What's really great about the little holes that they have in him is that they kind of blend in with all of the black on his coloring. You can change him up into any type of tentacle formation that you like. Personally, I kind of like this look to him. Or you can take off his hands and put on these other appendages and make him look even more like he's using his symbiote to its fullest extent. Look at these abs. I mean, damn, they really did a great job, plus the sculpt and the detail they put into the paint app. I'm in love with this. This is weird. If you look at this, it looks like his ribs are popping out. Similar to other parts of his body too. If you look at the back at his calf, it almost seems as though his muscle tissue is showing through the symbiote. Everyone has different opinions, but mine personally, I feel as though this is like the definitive Carnage figure up to date. There may be some future ones later on that are released, but right now, this is my guy. Real quickly, I'll go through his articulation. It's exactly the same as Venom's, but still, I'll just go ahead and show it. He has head movement, upper arm movement, bicep movement, elbow movement, wrist movement, mid-body movement, waist movement, upper leg movement, thigh movement, double jointed knee movement, and ankle movement. I wish I had another Carnage figure to show as a comparison. There's been a couple that have been released. One from Marvel Legends recently that was also really cool looking. Unfortunately, I did have that at one point, but it got burned up in an unfortunate accident that I won't go into details about. Here's a quick comparison to one of the Marvel Select Venoms that came out. I did a video on this, which I'll put a link over here just in case anyone wants to see it. See the 
them together like this is really awesome. I love both of their sculpts, and I'm really impressed with them. In fact, I think that these guys are probably my favorite definitive versions of Carnage and Venom. Even if you're more of a Marvel Legends fan, you gotta admit that these two together, the way that they're sculpted, look great. Body-wise, they are similar, although Venom is more massive in the sense that his arms are bigger and his chest are bigger too. Although I can't really tell. It looks like they have the same butt. What do you think? Here's Anti-Venom and regular Venom together with Carnage. Really think they dropped the ball on Anti-Venom, but still, the other two symbiotes really make up for it. Although technically, Anti-Venom isn't really a symbiote. Whatever, I'm not even going to go into that. And let's not forget poor old Spidey. He's usually in the middle of all the symbiote craziness. Although it did originate from him, so it should be that he's part of it at some point. And for a couple other size comparison purposes, here's a couple of the other Marvel Select figures that I have. I just kind of wrap it up from there. This is a great figure. I'm loving this guy a lot. If you're interested in getting him, pretty much you can only get him online. Amazon has him, and he's not too expensive. With that, I will join you guys in another video very soon. Thank you guys for joining me in this one. Be sure to check out my Patreon site, my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm gonna have to upgrade my Marvel Legend version of Spider-Man into a Marvel Select version. This is way too small next to Carnage. It works really well with this Spider-Man and Venom, but Carnage and Spider-Man should be roughly around the same height. Maybe Carnage is a little bit taller, but not this much.